links for products used on the car during this application will be in the description below. So on the pre-wash, just wanted to um, take the pressure washer, knock any loose debris and dirt um, off the car. Uh, wasn't for sure if there was any finish left or any finish on the paint. So I wanted to use this product, the uh, Turtle Wax Max Power Car Wash. Uh, so I just wanted to put that in the foam cannon, put it on the car, and give it a chance to remove any finish that may be on there. Didn't know if the dealership maybe had put a um, wash and wax on there and there was a little bit of finish. But for our chemical decontamination, I used Nano Skin Iron Free. At this point, I was trying to decide whether um, after it was rinsed down if I needed the clay bar. So you just basically fill your paint, um, the lower on the car as well. But since this one was brand new, really hadn't had um, sat out a lot. It um, did not need to be clay barred. So um, I used my pH balanced wash that I normally use. <clears throat> Put it in the foam cannon with a touchless wash first and then from there did our contact wash. Now that she's nice and clean and dry, time to bring her into the garage and polish the paint we just polished it to get some extra gloss uh, more than anything else didn't have a fancy light but I used the light on my phone and the light in my garage with some extra lighting and just to show you I uh, went around the car looking for um, any kind of imperfections and just to inspect the paint and it looked pretty dang good uh, if I do say so myself uh, then an IPA wipe down so isopropyl alcohol you can buy something pre-made I'll have some links in the description I'll show that or you can make your own this is what I use is a 50-50 is a, um, mix um, isopropyl alcohol and distilled water So the how to apply instructions actually say step one, small black cloth around the sponge using the card provided, press the cloth into both sides firmly to secure it. Shake the bottle well, liberally apply drops to heavily saturate the cloth. Wipe a thick layer across the car surface, first horizontally, then vertically to ensure an even application. Continue to spread in a crisscross pattern until you have completely covered the section. Add drops frequently as needed. Let the coating sit until it flashes. Iridescent, almost like an oil slick. But you can see that coming up shortly. Then remove the residue, lightly buffing with a microfiber towel. So basically what I did to deviate from the instructions was I had two microfiber towels. One to initially, they say buffing, but as I've discovered, you're actually it's a self-leveling ceramic coating. So when you're doing this first wipe down or buffing, you're actually leveling the product. And then I would come right behind it with a second microfiber towel to continue to level the product as well as buff it to a streak-free shine. The directions recommend after you're done, you come back and wipe it down a second time. 
Make sure you look at all the panels at different angles and different lightings to make sure you don't have any high points. If you see any dark spots, um, that would be where it's uneven and you would want to come back. I put two full coats on my car to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Also covered all the lights and the glass in the same fashion. I'm supposed to get it wet for 48 hours. So she sat in the garage for a couple of days before she came out, but the weather has been absolutely nasty. Recommended that you don't wash it for four to seven days. The coating continues to cure over multiple days. Having said that, I wanted to show you the hydrophobic properties. So you can see it's sheeting right off and that's what should happen in the beads on there before. So here you have it, the final product. So five to six hours of prep, two coats of armor shield, and she looks absolutely fantastic. I can't thank these guys enough. Um, highly recommended. It will, once we the prep's done, it's super easy to put on, super easy to level. Um, had a couple of high spots that I didn't see initially. I was able to come back several hours later and just buff them right out and level them up. So there you have it. And um, we'll test this in about six months to see where she's at. So um, subscribe to the channel. Keep checking back. We will be doing some uh, other mods here coming uh, after Christmas. I'm getting some new toys for the car. Um, but I highly recommend Avalon King Armor Shield. It's a fantastic product. Subscribe.